pray with me. I'll pray now. Lord, I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your love for this listener. Father, I pray that you would help them to have a contrite heart. Your word says in Isaiah 57, 13, the man who makes me his refuge will inherit the land and possess my holy mountain. Lord, we make you our refuge. But Father, we can't do it alone. Lord, we need your kindness and your graciousness and your mercy in all of our lives. I pray, Father, that we would be one in unity with Christ, the body of Christ worldwide. This listener, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I present them before you. Lord, my prayers lay at the throne of God. And with this listener, Father, I pray that you would take effect in their life. Father, that you would clear out any trap or plan or snare that the enemy may have laid against them doing things in their own strength. Lord, I pray that you would humble us, that you would humble the listener. Father, that you would give them a contrite heart because, Lord, your word says in Isaiah 57, 14, and it will be said, build up, build up, prepare the road, remove the obstacles out of the way of my people. For this is what the high and lofty one says, he who lives forever, whose name is holy. I live in a high and holy place, but also with him who is contrite and lowly in spirit. To revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite. Oh, Lord, I pray that you would humble us and help us to be humble, contrite and lowly spirits, Father. That we not raise ourselves above our brother or our sister. Lord, that we are equal, that we see and recognise your love for every person, for every believer. Father, bless this listener with your graciousness and your mercy that they may love with the heart of the Father as you intended for them to love, to love in the way that you love us, with mercy and with grace. Lord, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that the person on the other side of this video, Lord, would receive this prayer, that any matter or thing that lay before them, any, any dignity, any pride, any arrogance, any blindness, any unbelief, any deafness, may it be broken in the name of Jesus. Lord, I lay beneath the feet of Jesus all that you have searched and found within their heart that may be in contempt of your godly ways. And I declare, 2 Corinthians 10, 4 and 5, the weapons we fight with are not of this world. On the contrary, they have the power to demolish strongholds. Anything, to demolish anything that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, any argument, any pretension, may it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Lord, clear the way that we all may function in Holy Spirit as one body in unity with God the Father, God the Son and Holy Spirit. Help us, O Lord. Lord, I pray for the global body of Christ. I pray for the listener and their family and their, their churches. I pray for the pastors around the world, Lord. Lord, I pray 
for Australia. Lord, I pray for America. Father, I pray for all of our dedicated YouTube ministries and ministers and pastors. Lord, I pray an agreement in prayer with those that have been praying for revival for 50 years or more. I stand with those prayers and I lay them at the throne of God. Lord, that you may receive these prayers. That all glory to you, the Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray and I thank you, Lord. I thank you that you pray over each of us. And I agree with your prayers for the listener. Oh, Heavenly Father, be our refuge. Humble us, O oh Lord. Humble us, O oh Father that you may dwell within us as one in unity. Lord, that your authority is over every matter and thing in our lives, in the lives of the listener. And I pray this in the name of Jesus, and I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I thank you. I thank you for listening. Amen. Be blessed today. Be blessed. Amen.